Jesus. It would be a typical evangelical service were it not for the gay worshipers in the pews. They were at the National City Christian Church in Washington recently for, us. for a meeting of the Reformation Project. The group seeks full acceptance for LGBT people in evangelical churches. Before we move on to talking point number five, I just want to recap where are we? How is everyone doing? Matthew Vines gained a following right? after posting okay. this video testimonial on YouTube. I am gay. I didn't choose to be gay. In the Christian Bible, the Apostle Paul condemns what he calls shameless sexual acts between men. But Vine says loving homosexual relationships were practically unknown back then. The heart of Scripture's teaching is that marriage is about commitment, that it's about keeping one's covenant with one's spouse in the same way that God keeps His covenant with us. And that's something that same-sex couples can do just as well as opposite-sex couples can. Vines argues that a teaching like this that has failed in its objective and caused a lot of suffering cannot be correct. But critics say he's just reinterpreting scripture to justify his own sexual orientation. One critic is Sam Alberry, who recently addressed the Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission of the Southern Baptist Convention. What you have to do to the Bible to make it approve of same-sex relationships is profoundly unevangelical. Evangelical Christians read much of Scripture literally. But evangelical scholar David Gushy says the parts about homosexuality are blown out of proportion. The Bible has 31,273 verses. The number of verses that can be called on uh, to support the traditional position, uh, it's essentially, well, six passages, maybe uh, 15 verses at the most. Gushy recently changed his own position. Better, you are a movement whose time has come. An expert on the Holocaust, he says biblical distortions have resulted more than once in what he calls unchristlike behavior. I think it remains very hard for Christians to say this simple thing. We were wrong. We've been wrong on slavery, on race, on women, on a whole host of issues. Gushy says Protestant Christianity is supposed to be a self-reforming faith, and he believes lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender members will only elevate this spiritual communion. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, Washington.